So you're, you're producing a star in this. Like, did this, did this, uh, did he come to Rob come to use the script and uh, this idea? Or? Um, we were originally going to write it together, and okay. uh, pretty much really early on in the process, we realized this is his story to tell. So okay. um, together, we kind of discussed it, and looked over it, and all the, all along, I was meant to. It was meant to be available for both him directing as well as being starring. Yeah. And so okay. It's always kind of been mine if I wanted it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but then uh, right soon after him finishing the script, I kind of took that and started lining up our locations and producing it. So is this the first movie you produced then? Or? I'm sorry? How many, how many other films have you produced before this? Or was this your first? No other films. This is my first production on a feature film. I have produced music videos. So. Yeah. So how is, what's the uh, production aspect like compared to the, compared to the acting? It's, uh, it, it's, it's difficult because when one hat was taken off, another one was placed on my head. Yep. So I was working all night and then working all day and I was getting about an hour, maybe two hours every night. Yeah. It was tough, but you know what, it added to my character who's a little bit like Cuckoo, so <laughs> <laughs> helped, man, it helped me with my manic kind of thing. Well, thankfully it was only, it was a pretty short shoot that wasn't like about a month or so, so. Yeah, well 24 days, 6 day weeks, so okay. I can, you know, the, the reality is, although I was on camera for only a small amount of time, I was working on it for okay. even longer, and I'm still working on it, so essentially it's, um, people trying to get through. Yeah. Um, you know, I, it's never kind of ended for me, so, yeah, yeah it was a short shoot time, 24 days, but still, it's pretty normal, actually, it's not too, not too short, not too long. So when did you, when did you guys actually, like, like, film this, and, and where, where were you guys filming it, it at? the end of April through, uh, May. Okay, and where did you guys film it at? Maryland. Maryland? Uh, yeah. So, you ever been there before, shooting on location? I actually grew up in Maryland. Oh, you did? We found the locations, because I was aware of them, and, and I was like, well, we should check out here, and just one thing led to another, and we ended up shooting there, and just we found this perfect location, and, you know, everything kind of just grew on top of that. Yeah. Not to mention, Maryland has a really great crop of people that work on feature films that, you know, one or two big ones come into a yeah. year there. I mean, Step Up, step up 2, which just kind of left yeah. the area. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's a really great crop of crew members there that oh, yeah. were, are, are familiar, but then I was able to use the local girl angle as well to help us get yeah. something produced for nothing, essentially. <laughs> Excellent. So is it that that low of a budget? Like, we're talking, yeah. like, clerks? Under half, under half a million. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, which, I mean, you never know by the way it looks. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, our our crew is phenomenal. We had an amazing DP, Scott Winnig, who has just, you know, really brought a really cool aesthetic you know, with his music video background. And then, you yeah. know, our other crew members who just, it was a really big labor of love for everybody involved. And everyone wore, like, 15 hats on this thing. So, yeah, yeah. You know, everyone jumped in and, and to create this awesome little project that we're all really proud of. Excellent. So, like, what, what do you want to say to, like, uh, to horror fans when this is starting to come onto the theaters to, uh... Get them in. Get them in. It sounds pretty, pretty violent, pretty gory. What do I want to say to the Hick fans? Yeah. I just hope they really enjoy it. I know, you know, every film is not for everyone. Yeah. Um, but I hope everyone can take a little something from it. I think one thing that's really positive about this movie is that there's a lot of character development. So okay. sometimes you're watching it and you're thinking, hey, this might be a dramatic film, and all of a sudden somebody gets their next slice, and you're like, okay, it's probably not a dramatic film. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think it's one something that you can take a little something from it, no matter what kind of fandom the genre, if you're a fan of the genre or not. Excellent. 